Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to show our backyard garden at the end of May. The season was a little bit slow, but we're looking at a hopeful garden, hopeful for a bountiful harvest. So come and I'll show you a few things that we're getting at the moment. First and foremost, we have a few flowers on our tomatoes. Tomatoes, flowers are really, really, you know, good. I'm happy to see those. Now, guys, I had to go to do a voice over here simply because my mic was echoing for some reason. But I will show you around the garden. I hope you still enjoy, enjoy this garden tour. These runner beans were planted in my last backyard garden tour in the month of April. They struggled. We had slugs eating them, but now they're just beginning to climb up the frame, which I'm so happy about. Now, look at this black currant bush. Black currant is one easy you know, fruit to grow and it's high in vitamin C. Antioxidants is something I'll encourage you if you have the space, grow some black currants. It's not as sweet as other fruits, but it's super, super nutrient dense, even more nutrient dense than blueberries. My pear tree amongst my lovage and apple tree are doing so well. I would eventually thin this apple tree because it has so many fruits in small, young, tender branches, and that is too much for it to handle. So when it gets to the next month, I'm going to thin it down. The onion bed is looking so good. These are onions I grew from set and some of them are beginning to form flower heads. When this happens, you need to take them out. They won't swell any further, but you can still eat the onions like green onions. However, just be aware that it won't swell any further. Now, this is common with onions that are grown from sets. The onions on the other bed, which you see right now, these ones were actually grown from seeds and they're doing so well. I have some that overwintered and I have some that were grown this spring and I just staggered them this way because I want to harvest my onions through the year as much as I can. And that way we have a steady supply. Oh, I'm harvesting some garden candy. These, these are, are like these. candy so delicious in the garden. Crunchy. I really, really enjoy them. We don't grow enough to be self-sufficient, but it's nice in the spring. This bed here, I'm trialing something. I've seen people do what is called a sub pod, basically composting with worms on the bed, and then they move this around. I'm not sure how ideal it is, but it's a trial. It's taking up some growing space, but we'll see what it does to the richness or the nutrients of this bed. Strawberries are covered in flowers and young fruits, but none of them are ripe. And this is the latest. This is the latest we've had strawberries, you know, in this year. The month of June, we'll probably have some ripe ones, say in a couple of weeks. Now, guys, this bathtub here is every gardener's dream. It's doing amazingly for the cold, mild weather. We have coriander. We have this beautiful thyme there. We have some Swiss chard. I have kale just in one small space and some onions. And this is something I want to encourage you. Even if you have not much space in your garden, if you have a bathtub, you, this was an old bathtub when we moved into this house. And rather than discarding it, I said, I'm going to grow in it. And this is doing so, so well. Now, this is something about every garden. This is my little microclimate where we have the best weather in the spring and also in the autumn because it's just by a, a wall, you know, by the fence and we get good sunshine there. So it's really a perfect place to grow lots of vegetables, both in the summer and spring. First time ever, I am trialing some sweet corn in containers. I don't know how that will turn up, but anyway, this is an experiment. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for watching. If you've watched all this point, I hope you've enjoyed this little vlog, just showing you what my backyard garden is like and how much you can grow in a short space. Abundance is coming, but this is the time to put in the work. It is a bit hard work, but then it's worth it. And look at the amount, look at the amount of food just growing in this small space. It's quite a lot, isn't it? So let me know in the comment section what you think. And also give this video a thumbs up if it's added any value to you. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And until next time, I'll see you in another video.